Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Hello everyone and welcome to our wine TV. We hope you enjoyed this episode and of course with a glass of wine. Cheers! Today we are going to test a great Portuguese red wine which is Vadio Tinto. Vadio is a human-sized producer that was founded in 2005 by Luis Patrao and his wife Eduarda. The appellation is DOC Bairada, which is located in the Beira littoral province in the central of Portugal and near the Atlantic coast. The climate is therefore Atlantic with a mild maritime influence and abundant rainfall. The soil is mainly composed of clay and limestone. The grape variety is Baga, which is the prevalent uh, grape for the appellation. The vintage for the wine we are having today is 2017. Let's try it. Let's see the robe first. So the robe is of uh, dark ruby with some uh, shiny uh, pinkish purplish hues. We can feel a distinct uh, differentiation from the center part to the external part, which is lighter, which means that this one has already a little age. Let's see what's on the nose. So on the nose, it is uh, fresh with uh, predominant aromas of uh, red and black fruits. We have here some uh, cherries, some raspberries, some blueberries too. There is a little bit of uh, herbal character. There is also some uh, toast and uh, tobacco. Let's give it a sip. Mm. So the palate it is medium body with a silky sensation. It is very fruity. We can find the similar flavors that we detected on the nose. So those cherries, those raspberries. There is also a light acidity that brings freshness to the wine. I can detect also a little bit of spiciness with some white pepper. The finish is long and the tannins are present. Not too harsh though, but which means this wine can definitely age. So I would definitely recommend to pair this wine with a meat that can be grilled, roasted, or even in sauce or in stews. It is also a good match with a hearty cold cut, such as pâté or terrine. A wild boar pâté or venison terrine would be a great choice. To pair with cheeses, as there's a little bit of freshness, I will think of a lightly creamy cheese, such as a brie, for example, uh, to cut a little bit on the, the creaminess. So grab your bottle on our website, ht1gallery.com, and share with us your experience. Thank you for watching and see you next time for another wine feature. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.